Hi there and welcome back to fmatutorials.com. In this tutorial is part two of the minimal series we're doing this month and for this tutorial we're going to make a, like a driving minimal bass sound in FM8. Uh, I listened to quite a bit of minimal stuff and I was noticing there's quite a lot of really driving sort of deep bass lines going on so I thought I'd try and do a, a recreation for FM8 to just kind of get that driving sort of solid bass sound really so what I've got here is just quite a simple MIDI sequence uh, it's just one note really and then just a little bit of a kind of fill sort of note there at the end so it was just about getting that solid kind of warm sort of thick sound so let's create a, a new sound in FM8 and start off with program the operators. We're going to be using quite a few operators for this sound so uh, every one apart from A so I'm just going to turn them all on here and everything's going to pretty much be rooting through the filter as well so turn the filter, push the filter, send the filter to the output at 100 and I've pushed F into the filter at 100 and just push the cut off all the way up for now so we can hear the sound, hear the operators and how they're working together. So for F I'm going to have a third format. I'm going to key sync it. I'm going to keep the ratio on 1. Solo that. So quite simple to begin with. And E is going to be a sawtooth. Keep the ratio on 1 again. Key sync it. And E is just going to feed into the filter at full volume as well. Uh, next up, D, keep the ratio at 1. This is going to stay as a sine wave and it's going to be key synced. And this goes into the filter at full volume too. These are just helping thicken up the sound. For operator C, I'm going to have the 1 plus 3 plus 5 square. This is going to key sync it. The ratio stays at 1. And again, through into the filter full volume and B is B can stay the same pretty much ratio one sine wave key sync it and this is actually going to feed into F at 23 or 24 and E 49 so already it's quite a nice sound and there's also some extra kind of like routing that I do, did in here for this sound. Kind of rooted B into itself at 9, C at 14, D at 15, or 16, E at 21, or 20, and F around about 19. And then rooted the filter back into operator D. Uh, e, sorry, at uh, around 20. And that for routing the filter back into another operator always helps you give, get quite a really nasty, like not nasty, like a raspy sort of tone. It can really help thicken the sound. I noticed a couple of people asking about what all of this means, routing operators into each other and into themselves and stuff like that. And it is really about, for me, it's kind of trial and error, seeing what works. I think we might do maybe a separate tutorial, just focus specifically on that. But it's it's all about what works. You know, I think don't go too high with these values because it just tends to kind of distort the sound. But sometimes you can go into another operator at 100 and it sounds cool. So... Yeah, just really trial and error with this kind of like FM matrix and these routing, these operators into each other and into themselves and stuff. So next up, we can go over to the master section, give the sound three voices. And I had the detune on a little bit and the pan a little bit as well. And also analog, push that up to about 29. Sounding monophonic as well, so the bass sound, and took the pitch down by two octaves. And I noticed as well when we added this detune and this analog, sort of it helps with the sound and the thickening of the sound, but it it kind of gives it a bit of an inconsistent sound. So the way to use this in a mix setting would definitely be to just kind of get the loop, bounce it down to maybe four bars, just take your favourite bar that was the nicest sound and just kind of loop that over really uh, just to keep the sound nice and consistent 
I think another thing I've forgotten to include in the operator section was the noise operator X. So feed F into F X at 29. X can go root to the filter at 44 and also just straight to the output a little bit around 7 or 8 just to help give the sound a little bit of top, a little bit of top end kind of fizz really. So next up we can move to the envelope section. So for envelope B I wanted a bit of a pluck really so I push that release out a little bit and the sustain just kind of right down so so that's just got a pluck on the sound like and C, D, E and F can all link together the envelopes and for these you just want a sort of standard kind of ADSR really just pull the release out a little bit and pull the sustain down so we've got something like that so it's just got a bit more of a sort of plucky element to it now and then operators X which is the noise and Z can link together and these we want a similar sort of envelope to B really just quite plucky so pull the release out sustain right down and actually just pull the attack level down as well the sound for Z uh, operator Z until we activate the the envelope amount but we just set the envelope for now okay so next up we can yeah move to the filter and push the envelope amount up to around 76 77 So now we're activating this envelope that we set before. It wasn't actually activated because this envelope amount was on zero. So take the cutoff right down. And there we go. Our, our sound's becoming, sort of shaping the sound a bit better now. Push the uh, resonance of filter one down to zero and keep the mode on a low pass. For filter two, put the spread up to around 27. The resonance can come down to about 22 and the mode again low pass the mix one mix of one and two can stay all the way to the right mix two and can stay in serial mode and that filter is really kind of shaping the sound there and uh, okay next we can do the noise so for the noise just push the cut off up to 100 the resonance can come to around about 40 and the amp of the noise up to 100 and the saturator keep the asymmetrical at zero the gain can push up to around 100 level can stay the same so that's just it's quite subtle but it's just bringing a bit of top into the sound without kind of changing the tone too much just so it kind of like cuts through the mix really and uh, I think the last thing to set with the sound is the effects and just use a peak EQ to just boost some of the mids in the sound to again help it just so it will cut through a mix a bit better and the chorus delay just thickening the sound up quite nicely keep the time around, caught the way up, sync it pretty much everything else the same apart from the dry wet just pull that down to around quarter of the way and I did actually check this sound to see if it would work in a mono setting by just activating this gain utility and switching the door to mono and the sound kind of retained itself it was sort of stayed solid in a mono setting so I knew it would work in kind of like a mix setting or a club setting so there's a sound really a driving minimal bass in FM8 that could work quite well with the pluck sound that we did in the previous tutorial that I was put in here
Okay, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions, then please get in touch. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.